There are non-supplemental ways to dampen amygdala and limbic activity also. We know that spending time in nature can reduce activation of the amygdala. In fact, in some very elegant research, researchers will take a group of people, have them all go in a functional MRI, scan their brains, then have half the participants go for a walk in the city and the other half go for a walk in nature. And those who go for a walk in nature have noted an observable decrease in the activation of their amygdala. So a cheap way, essentially a free way, to dampen the activation of your amygdala is to go in nature. The protocol here would be a one-hour walk, if you can, two times per week. You want to hit two total hours per week in nature, at least seemingly so, to maximize the benefit of reducing activation of the amygdala. We also know that those who spend more time in nature have a longer life expectancy, or said another way, they have a lower all-cause mortality. And then similar but different, there's this wonderful app that published a trial in 121 IBS patients known as Zemedy. This is essentially a cognitive behavioral therapist put into an app. Now, could you go see a cognitive behavioral therapist? Sure. However, this would be a cheaper and easier on-ramp since it's a cell phone driven app. To tie this all together, there's a few different tools at your disposal if you're looking to dampen amygdala activity. You can do the bifidobacterium longum at 10 billion per day for six to eight weeks. You can do a blend of lactobacillus and bifidobacterium for two months. You can spend two hours per day in nature and or you can use these together. You could trial either CBT or the CBT app Zemity. Thank you.